The next speaker was the keynote of startup investing in the US, is an international business strategy in advertiser, advisor, investment manager, and startup men venture mentor with experience in tech ideation, investment analysis, and market positioning. He has been instrumental in rising and managing multi-millions in private equity, seasoned working with sector-leading technology and lifestyle brands, and successful in guiding teams and companies to profitable growth. Jeffrey is currently the investment director of Boomtown Accelerators and director of four North Ventures. He holds a Master of Business Administration, an MBA from the University of Denver, Daniels College of Business. He has also worked globally as a photojournalist, public speaker, and Antarctic expedition technician. That sounds very interesting, actually. I would like to know more about that after your session. So please welcome, with your round of applause, Jeffrey Donenfeld. Hello? Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, thank you so much for, uh, uh, for having me here at, at Go Viral. It's, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here with everybody. Um, I'm Jeffrey Donenfeld. As, uh, as you just heard, I work for Boomtown Accelerator. We're an early stage startup accelerator in, in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, we invest in early stage startups across a, a number of different industries, which I will tell you about. Um, I run the, um, the deal flow department, so that's the process of finding, selecting, and investing in the, the, the startups that we bring into the program. It, it's a lot of fun, and I really love my job. Um, it's basically my job to, to, to talk to uh, amazing tech founders all day and hear about what they're up to, hear their ideas, and, uh, and, and help make the decision on, on whether uh, we see potential in their ideas moving forward. So. Um, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of different things, but 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 first of all, uh, why Kazakhstan? Why why are we here? I I think that this area is uh, is a really interesting area for for entrepreneurship, um, and for new ideas and, and investing. There's there's a bunch of different industries that you're working on here, um, and you're in kind of a crossroads of Asia, as as you know, between Russia and China and all these other countries, and and there's a, a unique culture here. That's, uh, that's really special. Um, Almaty is a special city that I am glad to be uh, invited to. And I feel like, yeah, Almaty, woo! Good to be here, guys. <laughs> it's really great to be here. Um, there's, there's universities here. There's so much business, uh, culture and technology, and it's inspiring. You know, over the last couple of days, over the last couple of hours, I've talk, been talking to a, a bunch of people about why Almaty, like what's going on here. And it's incredible to see the variety of responses. I've heard responses from, you know, this is where all the kids are. This is, this is where uh, everyone is, is, is making new ideas. This is where the universities are, science and technology and business. People are learning here. And, and this is a, a, a real seat of new and emerging culture for, for Kazakhstan. I very much appreciate that that's happening in Almaty. And I think that just by virtue of the, the Go Viral Festival happening here, it's, it's a huge huge sign that this is the uh, this is a, a great place to be to be working so uh, for your startup I, I, I don't know if you're building a startup right now or you're thinking about it or you have a startup or you've failed 10 startups or had 10 succeed um, but there's so many different pathways for your startup to take in, in this talk I'm going to talk a little bit about one particular pathway and give you some frameworks but I, I just want to make it clear this is not the only pathway. There, there's so many options that you have uh, as a startup. And, and you can ask yourself, here's, here's kind of j just some, some ways to think about it. Um, wh what do you need to do for your startup, right? Uh, do, you have, do you have your idea 
and do you have the, the pathway you need and all of the steps already lined up? Do you know those steps perfectly? And you just need uh, a couple million dollars just to get it off the ground? Then perhaps, uh, perhaps cash is, is, is the only thing that you need and you just need to do that. Um, do you need support, right? Do you, do you have an idea but don't know how to execute on the idea. Maybe you need more support than just cash. Maybe if you just get cash, you're going to burn through it uh, right away. Um, if you need cash, going to, to competitions or getting grants, um, getting doing re reward-based crowdfunding, um, kind of like uh, uh, like Kickstarter funds, uh, can be really valuable and really important. Um, and, and doing. Um, uh, you know, just venture back to uh, investing uh, can be really important. If, if you need support, there's a couple different options. Um, and incubators, co-worker, co-working, um, accelerators uh, are all options here. Um, there we go, right? Incubators, co-working, and then accelerators. So let's talk about venture support. Yeah, within the co-working uh, in Boulder, Colorado, where I work, we have Galvanize, which is a, a great co-working space. Incubators in the States, you've got Idea Lab, Matter, and a, a whole bunch of, uh, uh, of different ones. Uh, you could perhaps put Y Combinator in there. Um, where we fit in with Boomtown is in the accelerator model. And I'm going to tell you a, uh, uh, some specifics about our model in just a minute. Uh, 500 startups could also be in there. And then, uh, you know, VC angel investment, that is, uh, you know, more just cash, less, less support. You could put Sequoia Capital, Draper, and, and, and a whole bunch of others in there. So scaling up your business, you need, uh, you're, you're at pre-seed or seed, right? You have an idea, maybe you have a, a beta Maybe you have uh, a couple paid customers, but you need to get to a much higher level, right? You need to get to the, the point where you're, you're expanding and you're able to do so um, at a, a much higher rate than just linear growth, right? You need to, to hockey stick up. Uh, that's really what we, we look at. Uh, we look at potential for that and we help companies do that and do that in a sustainable way not just to get a sale, not just to, to have a liquidity event and get out of the business, but to do that sustainably, to build a, a truly, truly valuable business. Where I work is in Boulder, Colorado, and, and, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about exactly what we do. Um, so we're going to go from Almaty uh, all the way to Boulder in the States. Uh, so Boulder, Colorado is in Colorado. Uh, we're right up there on the, the, the red dot. We're one of the emerging startup hubs for, for the United States. Um, there's, of course, you know, there, there's New York and, and, and Silicon Alley, you could say, right, in, in, in New York. There's also Silicon Valley out in California in the, in the Bay Area. Um, you've got other hot spots uh, in Texas like Austin where they have South by Southwest. And, and, and we like to, to think that in Colorado, especially in the Boulder, Denver area, we're, we're one of the new emerging hot spots for for accelerator um, and and startup activity there's a, there's a ton of other accelerators and and um, startup organizations out in Colorado so this is Colorado um, oops let's see this is Colorado Boulder is right up there just uh, to the above and to the left of, uh, of Denver uh, we're right on the edge of the Rocky Mountains uh, and have a have a beautiful spot. Um, this is the University of Colorado where I went to school, and we we have a, a really beautiful spot in in Boulder. It, it gives it gives uh, it gives life and and inspiration to startups and, and to kind of whatever you're doing. We frequently have days where people are coming in late into the office because they've been they've been up in the mountains skiing until noon. I do that all the time myself. It's it's quite a luxury. Really love it. Boomtown Accelerator is uh, an early stage startup accelerator. Like I said, we run a, a 12 week program. Um, we have classes, workshops, lectures, mentors. Um, and at the end, we run a demo day in a theater that's, that's kind of like this. And we have all of our startups present and give their pitches. And we give exposure to, um, to the general public as well as to accredited investors and, and, and really drum up a lot of support and excitement for the for the for the startups that we're we're investing in and and showcasing to to everybody 
So we help startups turn ideas into profitable and sustainable businesses. We do that in a couple of different ways. Um, and the, the two things that, that I wanted to, to focus on here are, are both profitable, profitable and sustainable. They're profitable and sustainable. They're really important. Uh, we, we would like to return shareholder value and we like to, to, to make you know, companies that are, that are going to make money and, and, and really do something. But we like to do it in a sustainable way. We're not just trying to build companies that can go out and raise ten million dollars and then and then burn out or burn through their burn through their capital. We're really looking for companies that can that can grow even slowly but sustainably. And I, I think for for you considering your startup and considering how to pitch your startup to uh, to maybe international VCs, to Boomtown or to TechStars or Y Combinator or five hundred startups. Um, to anyone, it really goes a long way to, to understand how you're going to do that sustainably and how you're going to pitch your model in a sustainable fashion, right? We offer um, a, a program, so we're not just investing money, we, we, we offer a program that is uh, classes, workshops, and lectures um, focused on uh, the, whole, the whole spectrum, ideation, business, hiring, intellectual property, um, mindset, pitching, all sorts of things. And I, I really love that we get to offer these, these benefits and these classes. It lets us invest in startups that are open-minded and know they have issues and have things they want to work on. And it lets us really help them work on those things to make their ideas, to help make their ideas into to truly great businesses. Um, this lets us invest in maybe riskier companies or earlier companies that don't know what's up yet and, and really help them along. And it makes us uh, have a really great community as well. We give $20,000 in, in, in money, uh, in, in cash. It's really just spending cash. It's not a lot of money. Um, it's just, you know, so you can live in Boulder for a little while. We really don't focus on the investment. It's a small part of what we do. Um, we have a team of about four, four or five hundred mentors, a network of mentors. Uh, so if you're launching a, uh, you know, a security company and you need uh, help in the security industry or help uh, thinking about your encryption or, or how to sell this into, uh, into large corporations, we'll set you up with a mentor. Um, so we really feel like bringing these people in from all of these industries and helping the, the startup it, it is going to give them a, a huge benefit. You know, yesterday we were talking about, um, on, the, on the panel, we were talking about uh, corporate accelerators and how startups can, can work with corporations. We'll a lot of the times have mentors that work for large corporations that can come in and help uh, a startup integrate with that corporation or integrate with larger corporations or, or take care of larger things. Uh, we have an alumni network that's great, that supports each other. Um, everyone loves working together. Uh, we're, we're partners of, of GAN, the Global Accelerator Network. And, you know, that's, we're talking about it on a global scale here and how you can, how you can pitch your startup on a, on a global scale. Global Accelerator Network has accelerators all over the world, um, and I've, I've met up with a bunch of them. It's great to be able to be a part of that network and take a, a, a startup that maybe isn't even a fit for us and send them to another accelerator uh, somewhere else in the world and find that best fit. I think that being able to talk to everyone is, is really valuable. At the end of our program, you do a demo day, um, like you just saw. Uh, there's, there's demo day. Lots of fun, and, and, and getting up there and pitching your startup at demo day is, is super important. Not only for the community to learn about you, but for you to, to understand how to pitch it, right? Um, you're going to be, as a startup founder, you're going to be pitching your startup a thousand times. I get this, I, I, I get this all the time. I was on calls just the other day. And, uh, you know, sometimes I feel bad asking these founders to pitch to me again and be, hey, like, give me your one minute pitch because I know they've done it a thousand times and they're going to do it a thousand more. But it's, it's a good thing to really be honing that. So there's, there's demo day. Um, our performance has been has been pretty good. We've we've helped raise, um, or our startups have raised uh, around 350 million dollars. Uh, we have pretty good performance, and we can be selective uh, with with who we accept in considering where to go next. You should 
think about the performance of the accelerator. Um, they're not all going to be the same, and, and, and startup investing is, is really hard. In, in thinking about this, you can, you can consider that we, you know, we give hands-on guidance, um, and we select startups that need that guidance and can use that guidance. That's not the same for every accelerator or every VC, and, and you really have to, have to understand those. For us at Boomtown, and, and this, is, this is some kind of general stuff as well, so this is Boomtown. This can be applied to a lot of different things. Our process, when you're going to be applying to, to us in Colorado, and to, in a lot of senses, in, to a lot of different startup accelerators, you're going to go through this process. You're going to send in an application. You're going to go through selections. Uh, we're going to do the investment and, and then execute that, that, that seed stage programming, put you through, through the programming. Um, it doesn't end there, though. We're going to continue to connect you with uh, mentors and other resources. We're going to work with you to assess the need and get you into pilot programs if that's what you really need, if that's your next best steps. You're going to go through a demo day, and then we're going to continue to give you support. I'd say that if you're thinking about an accelerator program or a venture program in any country or anywhere around the world, you should really think hard about if they're going to give you extended support after the program, right? If they're just giving you the, a cut and dry program and saying, this is this, this is the program, do this, and then go do your thing, or whether they're going to really work with you and say, hey, after the program, stay in touch. Let's, let's connect on the Slack group, send us uh, monthly updates on what you're up to, and let's make sure that you're actually progressing and have the the resources you need um, go, going forward. Our program design, we, we change our program every single time. We've never done the same program twice. And there's a couple different models out there that you can consider. You can consider the higher touch models like ours that require a lot of in-person work and a lot of energy to, to really make it happen. Um, you can also consider the more cut and dry packetized options that are going to be um, maybe a little lower touch delivered to you all at once or an online program and that won't require as much in-person contact, but you might get some benefit out of it as well. I think that's a totally valid thing if you're well suited for it and the screening process is critical there. Our program really focuses on the foundations of your company what you're doing at your core, how your core team is built, what your core fundamental mindset is. We change it every single time, and it's going to be um, you know, changed as needed, on demand. We're strategic. We look at the entire industry and where the industry is going. We look at where your industry is going, and, and we'll try to sculpt the program to, to, uh, to speak to those things, and it's individual. Uh, every single company that comes through our program and a lot of these programs is, is you know, it's, they, they get a unique experience. So selection criteria. I, I think this, this section could be the, the most important. I, in, in my job at Boomtown, I'm, uh, I'm the investment manager. So I help select the companies that we invest in. I do a ton of interviews and hear from a ton of companies, both in the States as well as all over the world, uh, including Kazakhstan, um, including China, including Nigeria, including Chile, all over the place. And we hear all sorts of different pitches, right? Uh, I have a certain amount of selection criteria that I'm really, I'm really paying attention to. Um, and it helps to, to know those specifics that we're paying attention to. Uh, I'd even go so far as to say, you know, ours is unique. Everyone else's is unique as well. And each company that you pitch to, each VC, each accelerator program, each incubator, will have slightly different criteria. And, you know, it's worth doing the research to, to understand exactly what they're looking for and what kind of, kind of mindset they're looking for and, and, and all, of these, all of these little options. First of all, in, in location, we're looking at the whole universe, right? <laughs> Anywhere. It can be in the States. It can be in, in Kazakhstan. Um, it can be in China. It can be in Nigeria. Wh wherever. We're looking for companies all over the world. That's not always true for every single accelerator uh, or every single program, and, and, uh, and it helps to know. The other thing with the location 
is, you know, we're an in-person program, and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more. We're an in-person program. Um, you have to come to Boulder to, to work with us. And so when, when I get pitched ideas that are, you know, we're, we're building a, a food delivery service that uses, you know, this local quirk of the local culture here somewhere, right? Um, and we want to come to the States and we want to take it all back to our home country. It doesn't always resonate as much as it could. We love to support local startups, but we like to support startups that we feel can test their idea and test their traction and get user feedback, customer feedback while they're in our program locally, right? So if you're pitching, this is a random example, a food delivery service, right, that has some sort of new model. The way to pitch it might be, we know that Boulder, Colorado has a university with lots of hungry students in the middle of the night. We want to try this model on those students and do a pilot test and, and have, have you know, all the students there in Boulder um, uh, try it out rather than we want to build our business plan and then take it back to our home country. Yeah, expand it to the entire world, but expand it when the, when the time is right. Stage. We, we really look at companies from all different stages, right? We, we're looking at companies that are seed stage, that are idea stage, and that have traction already and customers. The most recent cohort uh, at Boomtown, we had a company come in that uh, pitched us with just an idea. They came in with a really crude demo and they pitched us their, their idea and that they had built a small portion of it and they weren't sure where to go next and that was great. It was just the idea. Uh, they had something that was testable, uh, but, it's, but uh, just an idea. Uh, in the same cohort, we came in with, uh, we, we had a company come in that had been working for 10 years and had a fully developed product and they were launching a new section of their company, wanted to do something new and they were really treating it as a startup. That, that worked well. So all these different stages are fine. The team. Uh, I can't stress the importance of this this slide. Um, it's it's so important, and this is could be the number one thing. Be, besides having uh, you know a novel idea, right, and not just a copy of something, having a great team is is so darn important for success. I think in in um, in our program and success with with entrepreneurship, we look for teams of at least two people that can show up in person. I'll talk about presence. In a second, but we look for teams that have an open, an open mindset, right? That are are truly wondering. They say, "Hey, we have this really interesting idea. We think it's a we think it's a super cool idea, but we're not really sure what to do with it, right? Or we want to understand more. We want you guys to take help us take apart our model and take apart what we're doing." And. Uh, and make it better. It's okay if you, if you tell us we're wrong, right? It's okay if you take apart everything and invalidate our model. Let's go through that. That's the kind of mindset we want, right? Uh, open and flexible and, and curious mindset. It, additionally, we want companies that are intellectually honest and a cohesive team. Teams that can say, hey, this is what I don't like about my team member, and this is what I do like, and this is how we work well together, and this is how we don't, and we, we understand that about each other. Um, it's, it's really great to see a team uh, have true cohesiveness and, and really get along, but it's, good to, it's even better to see a team that, that knows what they need to improve on and, ha and how they can do it better and be open to that kind of feedback. Um, our, 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 thing, our, our program really focuses on community and, the, and the solid teams help build that community. I think that um, if you're looking at accelerator programs or looking to build your startup um, internationally, having your team solid, right? Uh, at least the, the founders solid is, is really, really important. And, you know, I know we're talking about, um, and actually after this I'm doing a panel about working remotely, and I, I work remotely a lot. I work abroad and, and on the road, but presence is really important for, for, the, for, for the beginnings of a startup. Get your team together. Get them in one room. Get them in an accelerator room, uh, accelerator program together, and really build that rapport with each other. 
so that when you do need to split up, you can still stay productive and, and, and already have this, this work balance and know how to work together and, and make that all happen. With, with Boomtown, we, we have a number of corporate partners, and I talked about this yesterday in the panel. Um, we're, we're partners with Comcast, NBC Universal, um, uh, doing an accelerator program called The Farm in Atlanta. We also work with a number of other corporate partners on accelerators. We really feel like having those corporate partners can, can add in a ton of technical expertise and value to what we're doing and, and, and to, our accelerate, uh, to, our, to our startups. Um, that's certainly something that, that is... Uh, uh, something you should consider uh, as to your startup's needs. And, and finally, we, we look at global trends. We look at what's coming up for technology. And, you know, I, I understand we're talking about a lot of technology here at GoViral, and there's a lot of different things that, that, that we're, we're considering. You, the, the talk right before this one was about YouTube, right? It's certainly a trend. Um, this, is, this is just something that I think is, is fun. And uh, in, in looking at, like, what's coming up next and what we might be interested in, you know, I remember uh, five years ago looking at this, and we had stuff like um, aug like aug Augmented reality, right? Um, and uh, smart fabrics, mixed reality, like way at the top. Everyone was like, whoa, like the new iPhone is going to have AR kit. And now, you know, people are like, yeah, we all have AR kit on our phones. Who has used it today? I, I certainly haven't. Um, and I think we're, we're slowly figuring out how that might be, might be interesting. Um, you know, artificial general intelligence, uh, exoskeletons, edge artificial intelligence, right? AI uh, that's happening on your iPhone, sorting pictures with a neural network directly on your phone without a network. That's all coming up, and it, it's, it's coming up fast. And so we really think about those global trends. If you're interested in our program, that's the apply link, or, or shoot me a message. Um, we're certainly not the only program. So, you know, why are we talking about all this? Pitching to a global audience um, is really important, and understanding the, the, the needs of your startup is important. And I think that um, armed with knowledge about one accelerator program, go to a, a ton more pitches and talks and learn about other accelerator programs, and figure out exactly what, you, what you're going to need next, right? Um, you know, we're, we're just one. And I think that doing your, your startup is going to take a lot of effort. And you're going to have to pitch to us and to Techstars and Y Combinator and um, Seedstars, right, in Switzerland, and a million other um, incubators and accelerators. And, and you're just going to have to keep going, but you'll make it happen, right? Um, it won't be easy. And um, I, I think that staying out there and, and, and having perseverance is, is extremely important is in this industry. In general, uh, there's, no, uh, there's no template for entrepreneurship. There's, there's no one way to do this, right? Um, you, we can talk about startup unicorns, right, and what's made billion-dollar companies, and we can look at trends, but ultimately, uh, there's no one way to do it, and, and it's your job to figure out the best way. Some of the best pitches that, that come to us and some of the best, best founders and CEOs come to us. And, and I look in my emails, I look at our CRM, and, and I see that we've talked to them before. Uh, this happened two days ago. Um, I see that we've talked to them before, and they pitched us with another startup. And I say, hey, what happened to that? And it's, it's inspiring when people, people say to me, we tried that startup. It totally failed. It was a disaster, and we lost a ton of money. But we learned so much from it. And the next startup that we're doing now, we're fixing a lot of those issues, and we're doing it differently. I love hearing that, and I love hearing about founders that are flexible and, and know that there's no template and that, that there's no one way to do this and, and are trying all sorts of different things. Um, I'm Jeffrey. Thank you so much for listening to me. I'd love to connect with you. On, on any of the uh, any of the networks here, shoot me a message. Find me after this. Um, I'd love to hear uh, a pitch from you. Talk to you about what you're working on, and um, and and hopefully stay connected. I certainly appreciate uh, being brought out here to, to to Kazakhstan, and and I think that uh, go viral is going viral. So thank you very much. Are there any questions? Any questions?
do we have a microphone? Oh, yep. I, I don't know if there's a microphone, but. Do you have any startups from Kazakhstan already? No. Or is it your first time opening here? Like this is my first time in Kazakhstan. And uh, to my knowledge, we don't have any in our accelerator that we've accepted. We've had some apply, and we'd love to see more. So after applying, uh, mm -hmm. you accept us, and then we go to Denver, Colorado, right? Or Boulder. how it works? Yeah. After you <laughs> It's, it's a good question. We can, we can get down into the details a little bit if you'd like. A after you apply, um, it comes to me. And I'll look at your, your initial application. If, if I think it's interesting, um, we'll get on the phone and, and talk. And then I trade notes with the rest of my team. And we all kind of talk about it, like, we like this startup. We don't like this startup. You know, these guys are cool, not so cool. Um, and then we'll make our final recommendations to uh, the executive board. Um, and then, you know, all of us get together, uh, there's about eight of us, and we'll sit down and do a final round interview and, and look at the startup, and then we accept you into our program and bring you out to the Boulder, Denver area. Um, it, you, you know, the process is, is fluid and kind of changes a little bit every time, but we're ultimately looking for, for the best startups. The other thing I can tell you about that is, is if you are going to apply to us or to any other accelerator, stay on top of it. We get a ton of applications, and we try to respond to everybody, and everybody puts so much effort into it, and applying and pitching and everything. But sometimes things slip, and so, you know, follow up, send messages every week, send an update. You know, a lot of times we've gotten updates from startups that have applied, and they send us an update. You know, even if we're on their mailing list, they'll send us an update and say, hey, here's what we're up to. Like, we applied for this, applied for this. We got, you know, a thousand more customers. We did this. And a lot of times we'll get those updates and be like, wow, these guys are hustling. They're out there. They're going to do it with us or without us. So let's get in touch with them. It goes a long way. Anything else? Yeah. So, hello, uh, thank you for your performance. And my question is, uh, can you name top three startups yet that you have ever uh, invest? No, I can't. No? They're, they're all amazing and they're all great. Um, there's certainly ones that have, we think have more potential than others, but they're all really, they're all great startups. And we invested in them for a specific reason and we have confidence and faith in them. Um, the other reason that, that I can't name it um, definitely is it's hard to know which ones are going to be the best ones and when, right? You know, we're uh, five or six years old and we've made what it was like 110 investments, but only a couple of them have had liquidity events. So only a couple of them have sold or gone public or had some sort of event that assigns a specific value. And so there's, you know, uh, over a hundred in our portfolio that we have no idea what the actual value is and we haven't gotten any an, any payment from them yet or any value out of them yet and we continue to support them and that's fine that's what we expect right we expect it to take 5 10 20 years maybe and in 5 10 20 years half of them might not be in, in existence anymore and we hope the other half are unicorns but we'll see Question. Well, so there's one more down here. Somewhere. Okay, thank you. Okay. I think that was Thanks, the guys. last question. If you want to ask any questions from Jeffrey, you can go outside and ask him. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. That was a very fulfilling session. Thank you. So I just want to um, make a quick announcement, a quick reminder okay, about the uh, Go Viral app 2019, where you can go to evaluate the session, uh, click the button, and fill out the questionnaire. Yes.